The network-based firewall aspect of SASE gets overlooked in my opinion. For those looking at a SASE strategy, network-based firewall might be a, the low risk entry point you need to start your journey. Let's take a look and find out why network firewall is so compelling. Hi, I'm Steve Murphy. I'm a vice president at ARG, and while I work for ARG, this video is my own and does not represent the views or opinions of my employer. This channel is dedicated to helping technology leaders make great business decisions. And SASE, or Secure Access Service Edge, abbreviated SASE, is getting a lot of attention. SASE videos are the most watched videos on my channel and probably the most written about solution in security today. Gartner reports client inquiries are up 100% this year. Out of respect to my subscribers of this channel who've heard it before, I'm not going to go into a description of SASE. I'll link my SASE playlist in the description of this video if you're interested in learning the fundamentals of SASE. I've got some great foundational videos for you to consume there. In this video, we're going to talk about the least discussed aspect of SASE, but maybe the one that's the easiest to deploy uh, and to start getting your feet wet in the SASE space. It's also one of the most important elements considering today's threat factors. I'm talking about network-based firewalls. I know Zero Trust, CASB, and other topics get a lot of the press because they're newer technologies, but the network firewall needs some attention as well. In simple terms, a firewall is a barrier between the public network and your private environment. A firewall protects your network from receiving any unwanted traffic or leaking any sensitive data to outside sources. So at a high level, firewalls are used to restrict access and block online sites that the organization deems inappropriate and potentially dangerous. Most firewalls today also conduct deep packet inspection, which is a description of all, a decryption of all traffic and a thorough examination of the, packets, of the packet's contents. You can't protect a network from unwanted traffic if you can't examine the contents of the encrypted packets, after all. So network-based firewalls are becoming super valuable in cybersecurity, in my opinion. The first reason is that the zero-day threats are becoming more and more prolific. Legacy firewalls are not designed to protect against zero days. Most legacy firewalls are signature-based when um, doing content inspection. So this means that when a firewall sees a su suspicious file, the firewall hashes it and compares it to the hash value to, it to uh, in hash value of the file in question to other hashes or known signatures um, of malicious code. These malicious hash values are stored in your threat intelligence database. Comparison of signatures is how most of the threat detection was done in the past. Well, today the bad guys are overcoming signature comparison defenses by iterating slightly different code each time an attack file is generated. Just a single difference in a file will throw an entirely unique hash value. This is called a polymorphic code, and it changes every time it propagates. Because of the change, the hash value will not match anything in your threat intelligence database, and the firewall will not see this code as a threat. The other issue with polymorphic code is that the threat intelligence databases will log the signature of this unique file. Um, that file will never be replicated, but it will be added regardless, just in case, to the threat intelligence database. So the threat intel databases are getting huge, very hard to process. Now, in reality, firewalls do much more than this. I don't want to sell their capabilities short, but a big part of what they do is what I just described. The firewall will unpack a payload, hash it, compare it to known threats, and if nothing is noted, we'll pass the file on. So signature-based firewalls are not as effective as they have been in the past. Now, again, I want to be fair. Some newer firewalls can perform more holistic activities, such as executing the file in a sandbox and seeing how it behaves or seeing patterns in the packets it's receiving. And that brings us to reason number two. The second reason that your legacy firewall may not be up to the task is that on-prem firewall processing power is not keeping up with the demands of security. On-site solutions are not sufficiently scalable to process the traffic, compare behavioral patterns, access data lakes for additional context, et cetera. And the complexity continues to grow. It's very hard to predict how much processing power your firewall will need in the coming years. So network-based or more appropriately cloud-based protection platforms solve these two problems. They have access to the latest and greatest heuristic approaches to identify zero-day events and have the processing power, access to large threat intel databases, for example, uh, and the creation of proprietary data lakes for your organization to perform custom analytics, and so much more. 
beyond zero day detection and scalability, cloud based firewalls um, can do a lot. With, uh, with SASE remote access solutions, for example, they can serve as the personal firewall for your remote end users. So you have the same policies and governance across the board. You can get advanced services you might have um, separate point solutions for today, such as intrusion detection and protection, DNS management, zero trust capabilities, and I mentioned secure remote access just a moment ago. When being used for remote end users, the platform can also become a secure web gateway. So there are a lot of additional SASE capabilities that are foundational within the cloud-based firewall. Now, what's the downside? Well, pure play cloud firewall providers, the ones that have never sold a prem-based hardware solution, are not quite as mature as the more established firewall providers. These established providers also offer a cloud-based service, but they do not yet have the additional SASE services fully integrated and their pop density may not be as deep or as broad as the pure place. So it makes sense to evaluate both. You're, there's almost a certainty that a solution will fit your needs, but you need to take a broad market perspective when considering alternatives. Cloud-based firewalls set you up to access many SASE services, and it's an, an immediate replacement for your prem-based firewall. That might be pushing the end of its usefulness for your organization. Now, we have providers that support both pure play and legacy firewall solutions. So if you're interested in learning more or evaluating the market, feel free to reach out to me. My contact information is in the description of this video. And if you got some value out of this video, I'd appreciate a like, a thumbs up, and thank you very much for doing that. If you want to return to this channel in the future, the easiest way of doing that is to hit the subscribe button below. That will put my videos in your feed and you can return at your convenience. Thanks and have a great day.